So if you've gotten started with Amazon Handmade, you have sort of an idea of what's going on. It's very different from Etsy. As you can see, this is my dashboard, and it tells you <clears throat> everything that's going on um, from how many orders you've had, what your sales have looked like, when your next upcoming payment is, um, your seller rating, and your health account. And... You know, it's it's like any other system when you get started, you just kind of learn. But the most important things is how do you add a product for one. You go to inventory and then you just click add a product. And in here, they're really into having, you know, certain sections. And I'm making decor for Christmas. So I'll say handmade home and kitchen, home decor, excuse me, and then holidays. I think that's in here. Ooh. Where do I put it? As you can see the... Oh, I go into party supplies. What am I talking about? Party supplies, decorations. Just the easiest if, you know... So we're going to click select and we'll be in party decor. And from here you can put in your image. You need to make sure that your image is going to be 500 megapixels. <laughs> Excuse my French, I didn't say that. You know what I mean. And so we'll see if this one even works. Okay, so that one works. But let's see if this one works. Uh-oh. Maybe I want to have the other image. All right, so they're both working, so I don't have to recrop or anything. I'm going to have this main one be what I have. And then also, I'm going to go onto my Etsy account. It's funny, I have to do a listing anyway. I just like showing these little videos to show people how they do them because I think it gets confusing. So here's this little sign that I created that I have on my Etsy, and I'm going to put it into I just copy and paste what I have from my Etsy into here just because you want to know that you can have enough stuff that people can pull them up and when you're on Etsy what's interesting about the title you can have as many words as you want to try to get people to buy something from you but when you're in here Amazon has some strict rules about having less than 80 characters in this title, which is just kind of interesting. So we want it to be $10. I only have one. Oh. One of a kind. And then you want your images. And so we'll throw a second alternate image of the gifts and cards right there. Production time. One day, because I, you know, it comes the next day. <laughs> it's already finished. I'm looking at it right here. So this is interesting, this little section, and you probably are wondering to yourself, what's, what? There's so much of this. What should I fill out and what's actually important for people to search and to look for me? Well, <clears throat> I would say all of it's important, of course, but what I would say is it's important to put in here something that's a little bit heartfelt, like... <laughs> These products um, are made by my husband and I in our wood shop we launched in our garage. Enjoy uh, making signs and finding best deals for our brides, for our customers. You know, just something a little bit heartfelt about your, you know, I think that's wrong grammar, but it doesn't matter. I'll come back and fix it. This is just to help you guys figure out what you need. All this stuff, yeah, you could put it in and save all that time. Um, I know it's poplar wood, stained poplar wood. You never know what people want to know about it. Okay. Here we go. Style keywords and search terms, I would say, are important. So I take my keywords just from down here. I'm going to say weddings, decorations, gifts and cards. 
You can't copy and paste them, bummer. And why is this important? Because this is how the computers think. Gifts end. You need to think the way that computers think. And how they search. Because that was one thing I learned about working in libraries, even if there was one <clears throat> book that somebody knew was the perfect book that they wanted to read and it's exactly what they wanted. If it could not be found, it was virtually worthless in a lot of ways. Kind of a waste of funds for the library to buy it because if you can't find it, it it's useless. So having good tags for people to find and to think about different ways that your customer is searching for your uh, items is really important and knowing the terms like rustic, a rustic wedding sign or upcycled or any of these terms that are really trendy. People, ca people catch on to them and they, they go with it so you need to go with it as well when they're searching and you have to also think <clears throat> people have whole themes for their weddings and you just see country wedding sign. That's not something that I just thought of. I really had to, you know, sit down and kind of think about it. So put some time into those. <laughs> and as for style, I'm just going to say rustic and country because that's what it is. Everything else can kind of stay. And then um, customizations. This is a good thing to show you guys how to use. I'm going to click add customization. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do text entry. Is this customization required for this product? No. And I'm going to say um, custom sign. And then there is going to be a price difference. It's a $5 price difference <clears throat> if you want it to be customized. So if it goes from $10 to $15. Is this customization? No. Um, would you like your custom sign to say? And I always try to give them, you know, up to 500 characters. Some people are <clears throat> gregarious. And I'm going to save the customization. Oh, we can have zero be it. Well, I want at least five to know what they want on sign. <coughs> okay. And so I think we have everything we want. So we're going to save and we're going to publish this. And we get in here. And it takes 15 minutes to look for it, and so that can be kind of difficult. But I hope this helps you get started on your first on your first one. So.